Hey guys, it's me, Komasan, and welcome to another weekly FNAF news recap, where I recap the FNAF news every week on Fridays. We got a ton of new news, we got a lot of hex news, because Docker revealed a lot of stuff during his charity stream last Saturday. But let's just cover everything really fast. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and press the notification bell, so every Friday you get this video. But we get our first look at Hex's upcoming Glow in the Dark Shadow Bonnie Plus. Docker also confirms that the Springshot Plus has been approved and will likely be released in July. So we got this new Shadow Bonnie Plus and it is actually terrifying. The eyes are so creepy and the teeth. Oh my, what was, what was Docker cooking here, man? It's terrifying. And then we got Springshot coming later uh, at the next month. So that's awesome. The Springshot was delayed. Something was wrong with him. They had to delay him for something. Maybe something malicious happened. I'm just joking, but seriously, he's coming back next month. Also, Hex reveals concept art for the upcoming Plus of the Sun from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. The Plus will include bendable wires to pose a limb similar to Hex's previous Puppet Plus. So, we got like concept art of what it's gonna have. Apparently, it's gonna have LED lights in it. I'm not gonna, I have the full image. I just put it up here. And yeah, it's, it's very cool. I hope it doesn't become a biohazard. I think other plusies be have LED lights in them too, so it should be fine. But it's just gonna be like the Puppet Plus that just recently came out. So if you're looking forward to that, Hex also revealed concept art for the upcoming Plus of Enold from Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. This is a prototype design. The plans for the final design is to include a rem removable mask, both eyebrows, and bendable wires to post the limbs. So that is very cool. Enold looks kind of goofy as a plusy, but you can't really make Enold like how he's supposed to be, you know? All the wires popping out and stuff like that. But there is some wires popping off, but you know, you can't have all the wires. Very cool idea for uh, Docker to design this because it's gonna, it's, it's very hard to make a plusy of Enold without it looking kind of weird. But it's gotta see what it looks like. It's still concept art, so many things can change. Also, Docker teases multiple upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's Hex Pluses. So we got confirmed of Lefty, Scrap Trap, Molten Freddy, Roxanne Wolf, Glamlock Freddy, Cupcake from the FNAF movie, Bon Bon Hand Puppet Plus, The Yellow Rabbit FNAF movie, Fanny and Glitch Trap with a dual release. It was unconfirmed of Helpy, Chipple, Dreadbell, and Music Man. So keep in mind for all of those upcoming Hex Pluses, uh, over time there's probably going to be more, but these take a while to come out. So that's probably going to be the entire, uh, entirety of next year. So. Keep that in mind. Hex also reveals concept art and a 3D model for an upcoming plus of Glamrock Freddy for Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. So, we got an official look at Glamrock Freddy, the Hex Plus version of him. It looks pretty good. I like his design. I like how there's already 3D art of him. So, they've been planning about this. It should be coming out soon, then, I believe. That they got the art done. They also got the schematic done. So, yeah, keeping forward to that. The toy didn't really say much. There was image. I think I had the images downloaded. I just put them side by side on top of each other. But yeah. We also got a first look at an upcoming security breach hoodie in featuring the Glamrock animatronics by Hex. The art on the back would be included to include more detail on the character. So this is a pretty cool hoodie. I'm not sure about the purple and the black. I'm not sure if it mixes well. I'm not a fashion critic, but it's so on the back it shows uh the glamrock animatronics uh i think this doing though like poses the instruments and i think this has something on the bottom i can't really tell uh but yeah pretty cool hoodie um it, i don't know when it's going to be releasing it should be releasing probably soon because it's upcoming so yeah keep in mind for that i it would be cool i wonder how expensive it is going to be though we also got our i think this is the final hex thing so hex reveals concept art and a 3d Model of an upcoming plus of walks and Wolf from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. The two images like before for Glamrock Freddy, so I'll put them on top of each other. But Roxy, my favorite animatronic, becoming a plusy. Can't wait for her to come out. I'm very excited. When I'm reading the script, I can't really see what uh, things she can do with the plusy. So if you guys would know, but I can't right now. But I'm very excited for Roxy. She's my favorite animatronic from Five Nights at Freddy, so I'm very excited about her. Hopefully, X does a plusy giveaway or if I blow up on YouTube enough and I can actually buy it because I would love to do a review on Roxy because I love Roxy and I love the Hex pluses. They're so, they're so cool, but I can't, I can't, you know, I don't have them. But um, that was all the Hex news. That was a bunch of news. So that was all from the charity stream that Darko had that was going for the Trevor Project. 
I highly suggest if you guys want to help out the travel project, it helps out LGBT people, including me, because I am trans. So, yeah, it's it's a very nice charity to do, and it helps out a lot of people that are in need. Now, since we got that stuff out of the way, now we can actually get into the other mold stuff. So, so there is other stuff other than the hex mulch. So we got two Five Nights at Freddy's posters from Trent International. We got a pizza box, which is Toy, Toy Freddy. And we got a the Holy Nightmare Fred Vogel by uh, this ad poster right here. You guys can go follow him on Twitter or whatever. Uh, they'll tag us right there. But they made Nightmare Fred, not Nightmare Fred Bell. It, it, technically, it is Nightmare Fred Bell, but you know, people just call him Fred, Night, uh, Fred Bell. But it's Fred Bell, like, but as a Vogel, which is kind of funny and kind of dark when you think about it with the crying child. But that is such a cool des design. Uh, we ordered Postal. But hey, it, it's cool. It's funny, so I don't, I don't really mind. That is the posters. Uh, we also got uh, the YouTube's new Five Nights of Freddy's collection is now available. It includes Nightlights of Freddy and Moon, Fussies of Dreadbell, Marionette, Freddy and Pizza on top. This it's just Freddy on top of Pizza. Total White of Bonnie, Arnold, Monty, Roxy, and Foxy, and that's all. So it's live right now. I tried to enter a giveaway. They did. I didn't win because I really wanted the Roxy Plusy, but I had the worst luck imaginable, so I didn't win. Hope you guys get it uh, if you can. It's very cool. YouTube also has released concept art for an upcoming figure of Phantom Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. So they did the undoable. They made a they're making a figure of Phantom Chica, Watermelon Chica. I'm surprised they're doing this. Designs for FNAF 3 are pretty bad in my opinion. They're not the best. I think Scott was kind of lazy with FNAF 3. It's kind of worst game. Most of the detail was spent on Spring Trap. The other animatronics were kind of this way skins in my opinion. But they are making a uh, figure of Phantom Chica of all characters. So that is very interesting, I could say. I'm not a big fan of Phantom Chica, but there's probably someone out there that loves Phantom Chica. So, lucky you. We also got another preview for the upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's Glow and Dark Coloring Book has been released in crystal clear resolution. The book will feature over 96 pages of 24 glow in the dark pages and will be released on August 6, 2024, which is in two months. So, there's some images here. We got an uh, image of like the main logo of the Pizza Plex, which I love, by the way. I, I That's actually my wallpaper on my computer. I love that logo so much. It's so beautiful. It's just, it's it's perfect, and I love the art style. There's also other images of them being going to dark, so that's cool. If your parent want to buy this for your kid, I highly suggest it. Because it's always fun to cuddle stuff, you know? Teaching upcoming artists or something like that. And now, final more thing. Uh, Flat Mojo, I never heard of this company before, will release two new mods bundles for Five Nights at Freddy's 10th anniversary. It includes a Freddy Head Capsule bundle and a Fizzy Fast Decent Video bundle. So, I never heard of this company before. There's a lot of stuff on the screen. You guys can look at it. There's, uh, like, this Freddy contraption, like, you tap the head, I think, and it, like, spits out maybe a toy or something. It's fairly weird, but... There's a lot of stuff on the screen, and if you want to pick this up, I never heard of this company before. I... I th yeah, they released, so just pick it up. I don't I don't know what this is going to be. It doesn't really say. It could be a Walmart, Target, whatever. But, yeah, that's cool. And I just never heard of the company company before. But now that's all the mods. A lot of mods that covered up nine minutes, so that was crazy about the amount of mods. So we also got some book stuff. So a new description for Five Nights at Freddy's the week before reveals the main protagonist's name is Ralph. And it will be releasing on September 3rd, 2024. So... That is awesome. I'm gonna read a description right here. Which one will it all begin in this interactive prequel to the very first Five Nights at Freddy's game? You, the weedle, are a security guard Ralph, and you got five nights, or is it six, to survive Chica, Bonnie, and Foxy as they try to wipe you out. With over 25 different endings and two difficulty settings, this one of a kind, innovative novel is a uniquely entertaining experience for any Freddy fan. So that's amazing. We not a lot of detail, Six Nights, and uh, Kaltor is named Ralph. So, is Phone Guy's name Ralph? I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. We just gotta wait until the book that releases in September 3rd. Well, we got fan games now. So, the eighth anniversary of Pop Goes. Tomorrow will be celebrated with a showcase of Fighting Chance, a major content update for Pop Goes Okay releasing this year. And there's three other announcements that are gonna be also planned for this anniversary. I'm gonna cover them very quickly because. This video is getting pretty long. The first eighth anniversary Pop Goes reveal is for a celebrate postal for Pop Goes Evergreen featuring Pop Goes the Weasel, Saffron the Squirrel, and Sarah the Squirrel on the show stage. So, pretty nice 
postal akin to the original buddy fazbell celebrate postal just in a different perspective to the side instead of the front which is pretty cool looking i never saw these animatronics before i like pop goes the most but it is pretty cool. We also got a second, eighth anniversary Pop Goes reveal is camera two from Pop Goes Evergreen. Buying the image reveals Pop Goes the Weasel in a prize room. So it was what it looks like. It's pretty scary. It just there was this. It's very exposed. It looks kind of weird with the shadows and stuff. But that's probably not going to look like that in the game. Anniversary Pop Goes reveal is a new fishing mini game, including in the Steam release of My Pop Goes. The game releases on August 4th. Available to wishlist on Steam now. I'm not gonna show the gameplay of it because it's this new mini game of Pop Goes Fishing. Not crazy, but new new game mechanic for the game, which is cool. There was something else about another teaser, but that is all we have for this week. A lot of more news, like way we got so much more news, and it was especially from Hex as the charity stream. Also, before we end this video, I want to say happy birthday to Markiplier. It is his birthday today. I just want to say happy birthday. I've been watching him for years since probably 2013. So yeah, happy birthday, Mark. And if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to press that notification bell. Because you guys wanna if you guys like this video, you might as well watch it every Friday. Because I cover the FNAF news every Friday. So hey, subscribe, it helps out. But I will see you guys later.